previous video, you got a first-hand look at some of the resources within Jenks Library and learned where they are located. In this video, you will learn how you can use the Noble Catalog to find these resources. To begin searching for books or other materials in the Noble Catalog, go to the library homepage at www.gordon.edu library. In the Search the Library section, you can either enter a quick search in the box provided, or you can click on the More Catalog Search options to open the full catalog. You'll be directed to a basic search screen where you can begin your search. Use the box at the top to type in different combinations of keywords to return the results you're looking for. You can also filter your search by search type, so for example, searching by keyword, by title, or by author. You can use the Formats tab to search by a particular type of resource. Some of these that might be particularly useful for finding information in the curriculum library would be this other format, Kit. And finally, you can scope your search by library. Choosing different libraries in this dropdown allows you to search their specific collections. Right now, we're only interested in searching what Gordon has available, so we're going to leave our dropdown set to the default, Gordon College. During the tour, we explored four different resources at Jenks. A book, a picture book, a teaching guide, and a score. We're going to walk through the best ways to search for each of these resources using Noble. Let's start with a book. On the tour, we found the book, The New Handbook of Research on Music Teaching and Learning. If you know the name of the book you're looking for, type in the title of the book in the search box. Optionally, you can choose to change your search type from keyword to title, and then click search. You can see for this particular book, we have it in both print and an ebook. We'll come back to ebooks later. You can also search for books by keywords. Say we wanted to find information about teaching music at the secondary education level. We can start by using the keywords music and secondary education. When entering different keywords in the search box, use the AND Boolean search operator to connect your two terms together. This indicates to the catalog that you want books related to both of the keywords you have entered. Click search after you've entered your keywords. Review the list of results and select titles that are of interest to you to explore further. Let's first look at a print book. How do I know which books are print and which books are ebooks? The icon below the title and the author tells me the format of the item. We'll start with result number three. Clicking on the title link brings you to the item record. Basic information about this item, such as the title, author, year, and publication, will be at the top, and in the middle of the item's record is the location information for actually how you find this information at Jenks. In the last video, you learned you need two pieces of information to locate an item, the location, or stack level, and the call number. With this information, you can find the floor and shelf area within Jenks where your book is located, and then you can check it out at the circulation desk. Let's go back to the basic search page in Noble and talk about the other resources we explored in the library. For locating this information, it's best to use the advanced search in Noble. Notice that when we open up the advanced search, we have a lot more filtering options. One of them is location. You'll see as we scroll through this list, a location exists for each one of the resource types that we explored in our tour. So say for example, you were interested in finding picture books about violins, as we did with our book, Zin Zin Zin, A Violin. Heading to the location box, you can select the location Juve Pick Kerr Library, and then up in your keyword box section, you can type in whatever keyword you're looking for. So for example, violin. When we click search, our results are scoped only to this location area. Again, clicking on the green title links will open up the items record and we can find the location and call number that we need for accessing this material at Jinx. This same process is true for curriculum library material such as teaching guides or score material. Again, go back to the advanced search tab, highlight the location that you'd like, so for example scores this time, and type in the keyword you'd like to search by. For scores, you could search by a particular instrument, whether the score is for vocals or by a specific composer. Lastly, the other resource the Noble Catalog can help connect you with is ebooks. Jenks has many ebooks in our collection that you can access from anywhere. To find an ebook, let's go back to our basic search page in the catalog and run another search. We're going to return to the book that we started with, The New Handbook of Research on Music Teaching and Learning. Remember from our results earlier that we have this book both in print, which we already found in the library, and in ebook form. To access the ebook, again, click on the green title link to open the record. The information you need for accessing the ebook is contained below the electronic resources header. You'll see a link that says something like access for Gordon College via EBSCOhost, or sometimes you might see access for Gordon College via Overdrive. Those are our two most common platforms where ebooks are hosted, and you can click on this link to get the full contents of that ebook. Let's take a look at this example of the EBSCOhost version. Notice when we click into the EBSCOhost ebook, it opens right away in their ebook reader page. Use the left navigation options to open up specific parts of the book 
or jump into specific chapter areas. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you need any help, you can always ask Jenks.